My presentation today is about uh, CO2 capture from natural gas that consists primarily of uh, methane. One possibility of uh, removing CO2 from natural gas is to use a micropores membrane that allows selective permeation of CO2 and uh, therefore the uh, purified methane is uh, recovered fr from the uh, retentate. The uh, permeation selectivity is a product of adsorption selectivity and the diffusion selectivity. So the ideal membrane construct is one in which both adsorption and diffusion favor CO2. For further background on the choice of membrane technology for CO2 capture applications, I refer you to my uh, YouTube presentation, a tutorial on membrane permeation. The uh, focus of our presentation today is on CO2 capture using uh, PSA technology, a uh, simplified PSA scheme for CO2 capture, which consists of uh, an adsorption cycle followed by a desorption cycle. These are fixed bed adsorbers containing a, uh, an adsorbent such as uh, zeolites or metal organic frameworks in which CO2 is preferentially adsorbed. Consequently, Purified methane can be recovered from the top during the adsorption um, phase and uh, the uh, adsorbent is regenerated and in the regeneration uh, cycle some amount of methane is that is adsorbed along with CO2 and remains within the uh, pores of the adsorbent is lost along with the CO2. Therefore, an ideal adsorbent should be one in which both adsorption and diffusion favors CO2. The ideal adsorbent should have a very high CO2 uptake capacity. Concomitantly, an ideal adsorbent for use in PSA schemes should have a negligible methane uptake. High adsorption capacity for CO2 is realized by uh, relying on the differences in the uh, properties of CO2 and methane. CO2 has a higher degree of polarizability and a, a large quadrupole moment. The polarizability of methane is lower and it has zero quadrupole moment and therefore strong adsorption of CO2 is achieved by relying on the electrostatic interactions between uh, the CO2 and uh, extra framework cations in uh, zeolite such as uh, 13x zeolite or with unsaturated metal atoms of metal organic frameworks. Let us examine the uh, electrostatic interactions between uh, a gas molecule and the extra framework cation that can be either lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, or barium. Also indicate here the uh, size of the cation, the radius of the cation in angstrom values. That R represents the distance between uh, the center of the gas molecule and the center of the cation. 
basically we can um, distinguish between uh, three types of electrostatic interaction potentials. One due to induced dipoles. The second one due to the interaction of the electrical field with the permanent dipole of the uh, guest uh, molecule. And thirdly, we have the interaction of the electrical field gradient with the uh, quadrupole moment of the gas molecule. Here Q represents the charges of the extra framework cation, and R is the distance from center to center between the guest and the cations. In all cases, we note that the potential energy of interaction is proportional to the charge or the square of the charge and inversely proportional to the distance to the power 2, distance to the power 3, and the center to center distance to the power 4. In other words, larger electrostatic interactions are achieved with smaller cations because the center to center distance is uh, smaller if the radius of the extra framework cations is smaller. The electrostatic interactions increase with uh, the valency of the um, extra framework cation. A bivalent barium cation would uh, contribute to a greater extent to the electrostatic uh, interactions. And uh, larger dipole, larger quadrupole, higher polarizability will all lead to larger magnitudes of electrostatic potentials. One um, candidate uh, absorbent for CO2 capture from natural gas is uh, 13 x zeolite. Um, that has the phalgesite topology. This topology consists of uh, cages of uh, 786 cubic angstrom. Each cage is separated from adjacent cages by uh, 12 ring windows that has an aperture of 7.25 angstrom. The uh, CO2 interacts strongly with the extra framework cations and uh, per unit cell of uh, 13x zeolite we have um, 86 cations of sodium, 86 aluminum items and 106 silicon atoms with a silicon to aluminum ratio of 1.23. Due to the strong electrostatic interactions of uh, CO2 with the uh, extra framework cations, the uh, mobility of CO2 is uh, significantly lower than uh, the mobility of methane that has a poorer adsorption uh, strengths. In order to demonstrate that, we uh, plot here the uh, adsorption selectivity for uh, three types of phagocytes. This is NAX with 86 uh, extra framework sodium cations per unit cell. This is for NAY with uh, 54 extra framework sodium cations per unit cell and all silica phagocyte that does not contain any extra framework cations. We see that with increasing number of extra framework cations, the adsorption selectivity is significantly increased by about two orders of magnitude. 
However, the uh, diffusion selectivity is uh, lowered to a significant extent by about one order of magnitude as we proceed from uh, all silica phagocyte to NAY and NA zeolite. Strong adsorption implies lower mobility. For further background on the anti-synergy between adsorption and diffusion, I refer you to my publication in ACS Omega, published in uh, 2022. See also my um, YouTube presentation, Adsorption versus Diffusion in Phagocyte Zeolite. The message to emerge from uh, the data presented here is that uh, strong adsorption is not always a good thing for use in PSA units as we shall uh, demonstrate later on during this presentation. The anti-synergy between adsorption and uh, diffusion also holds if we use uh, magnesium MOF74 as adsorbent in the PSA uh, process for CO2 capture. Magnesium MOF74 consists of um, 11 angstrom hexagonal channels and uh, the blue atoms are the unsaturated uh, magnesium uh, um, atoms that uh, exert strong electrostatic interactions with uh, the uh, CO2 gas molecules. Let's have a uh, qualitative feel for the motion of CO2 within the channels. Due to strong adsorption of CO2, we see that the uh, CO2 molecules are congregated near the uh, the uh, framework walls, in particular in the vicinity of the uh, unsaturated magnesium atoms. Only uh, infrequently does the CO2 molecule venture into the uh, core of the uh, channels. In contrast, if we look at uh, methane, the uh, distribution of uh, methane molecules is nearly uniform over the uh, channel cross-section due to the pure poorer adsorption of methane near the walls. The uh, Methane molecules are not congregating around the uh, periphery, but rather uniformly distributed over the channel cross-section. Strong adsorption of CO2 implies also lower mobility and uh, poorer diffusion selectivity of CO2 with respect to methane. In other words, methane diffuses faster than CO2. A different scenario emerges for uh, adsorption and diffusion in cage type zeolites such as uh, DDR, Shabasite and LTA5A. These zeolites consist of uh, cages separated by narrow eight ring windows and the uh, dimensions of the uh, windows are shown here. For uh, DDR, the minimum dimension is 3.65 angstrom. For Shabasite, the minimum aperture is 3.77 angstrom. And for LTA 5A zeolite, the minimum aperture is 4 angstrom. We note that uh, CO2 is a pencil-like molecule whose cross-sectional dimension is uh, 3.1 angstrom, whereas uh, methane 
is a spherical molecule with a uh, dimension of 3.7 angstrom. Due to the uh, differences in the uh, cross-sectional dimension, CO2 diffuses much faster from one window to the adjacent window. We shall demonstrate that by means of uh, MD animations in the uh, next slide. Let's examine CO2 CH4 mixture diffusion in case of zeolites, shadowside, DDR, and LTA. Let's first have a look at the animations for shadowside. The CO2 molecule is attempting to enter this cage, but is uh, hovering around the window site. This is for DDR. You can see uh, the preferential perching of uh, CO2 at the window regions. stays at the window regions for a considerable amount of time before entering either of the adjacent cages. Intercage hopping of CO2 is much easier in LTA zeolite because the window dimensions are larger. Here you can see a CO2 molecule hovering around the window site. The window aperture size D min dictates the uh, diffusivities and diffusion selectivities. In the graph here on the left hand side, we plot the uh, methane diffusivity as a function of the uh, window dimension for LTA, zeolite, shabasite, and DDR. DDR has the smallest window aperture and uh, the methane diffusivity is about two orders of magnitude smaller than for LTA zeolite. On the graph here, we plot the CO2 methane diffusion selectivity as a function of the window dimension. And we note that uh, as the window aperture size increases, the diffusion selectivity decreases by about one order of magnitude. So uh, <clears throat> by uh, proper choice of the uh, window dimension, we can uh, ensure that the uh, diffusion selectivity is strongly in favor of CO2. Let's uh, focus on DDR zeolite shown by the inverted uh, triangles. Let us consider the adsorption uh, cycle for natural gas uh, purification using DDR zeolite. I uh, show here simulations of uh, transient breakthroughs in a uh, fixed bed adsorber fed with a 50-50 uh, CO2 methane mixture operating at uh, 100 kilopascals and at a temperature of 300 uh, Kelvin. I show here two types of simulations. The uh, simulations indicated by the black lines are for 
a set of conditions in which uh, the diffusional limitations are completely ignored and the uh, component loadings within the uh, DDR zeolite at any position is in equilibrium with the bulk gas at that same position in the adsorber. CO2 is more strongly adsorbed than methane due to the higher degree of polarizability of uh, CO2 with respect to methane, but we note that uh, the uh, absorption of CH4 within the pores is finite and this is reflected in the fact that the uh, breakthrough occurs at a uh, time that is not zero. The x-axis plots not the time but a parameter Q0 which is the volumetric flow rate at the inlet multiplied by the time divided by the mass of the adsorbent and uh, the units of the x-axis is liters per kilogram. The y-axis represents the dimensionless concentrations of CO2 and methane at the exit. The, the simulations indicated by the uh, red lines are for for a scenario in which the uh, intracrystalline diffusion limitations are properly accounted for since the uh, methane has a significantly lower diffusivity by about one or two orders of magnitude lower than CO2 the uh, methane is practically rejected from the pores and uh, exits the adsorber near the uh, time t is equal to zero. Therefore, diffusional limitations serve to uh, lead to complete rejection or near total rejection of methane from the pores and this is of great advantage in a PSA scheme because uh, the amount of methane that is uh, remaining within the pores is practically zero and that leads to no methane loss during the desorption cycle. So the adsorption diffusion synergy that manifests for DDR zeolite is an important advantage in PSA schemes. This synergy results in higher productivities of purified methane and negligible loss of uh, methane along with uh, CO2 in the desorption cycle.